Now, if you ever plan on installing a custom recovery or a custom ROM on your OnePlus 3, you're going to need to unlock the bootloader. Unlocking the bootloader will wipe all of the data you have on your device. So it's a good idea to do this as soon as you pull the device out of the box. Now to start, you're going to have to install Google's USB drivers for Android. I will have a link for this in the full tutorial and that will be linked in the description below. Once you have installed those USB drivers, go ahead and reboot your computer. And then while that's rebooting, we need to enable developer mode on the OnePlus 3. To do this, we go to settings, about phone, then we tap on the build number about seven to 10 times, and then it'll say that you're a developer. Once developer options are enabled, we go back into the main setting page, go into developer options, and we need to enable two different things here. Firstly, we need to enable USB debugging mode. So we just flip that, that toggle and tap OK. Then we also need to enable OEM unlocking. Again, it's just the toggle. You just need to toggle it on then put in your pin pattern or password you'll get this little warning this is just a generic warning for this device go ahead and tap on enable and then you're going to need to install ADB and fastboot tools again if you don't have this already installed on your computer Check the description below and I'll have a link to the full tutorial which will have a link to ADB and Fastboot tools. Now once you install the linked ADB and Fastboot tools, it's going to leave a shortcut on your desktop. You're going to want to double click on that shortcut and what it's going to do is it's going to launch a command prompt directly in the folder that it needs to be. All you have to do is type in ADB devices and press enter on the keyboard and this is going to start the ADB service. You'll see it says daemon started successfully. So now that we have started the ADB service we need to take a USB cable that's connected to our computer and then plug it in to the bottom of the OnePlus 3. Now if you've done everything properly you're gonna have this USB debugging prompt pop up. I always check the uh, always allow from this computer but it's not required I just don't like to see this prompt all the time. So once you see this prompt Go ahead and tap on the OK button. Now that we have granted USB debugging access from our computer to the OnePlus 3, now we need to reboot the device into fast boot mode. Again, if you're not if you're not clear how to do this, you can follow the tutorial that's linked in the description below. I have already set this up previously as a feature so that I can reboot directly into fast boot mode, which is also called bootloader mode. Once we get to fast boot mode, now we need to turn our attention back to the command prompt. Now that we're back at the command prompt, you're going to type in the command fastboot space flashing space unlock. You see at the bottom here we have the OnePlus 3 in fastboot mode. Once you type that command out, just press enter on the keyboard. And then you're going to see this prompt 
on the OnePlus 3 asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. You need to use the volume up and volume down buttons to highlight yes or no. And since we do want to unlock the bootloader, we keep yes highlighted and then press the power button. We'll get that little screen saying that our device has been unlocked. And just like I said before, it's going to wipe all the data on the OnePlus 3. It's going to reboot a couple times. And then it's going to boot back up into the Android operating system. And like I said, since they since it wiped all of the data, you're going to have to set up and activate Android again. And I'm not going to go through this screen right here, but I do want to point out that once you have unlocked the bootloader of the OnePlus 3, you're going to see that screen every time. It's going to tell you to press the power button if you want to immediately boot up, or you can just wait the five seconds and it will reboot on its own. And I just want to show you that, that that warning screen is normal. There's nothing to worry about. We see this on Nexus devices too. Once you unlock the bootloader, you'll get that warning screen at the beginning.